Hi, YouTube. This is Diva Kiki. I am coming to say hello to all of my subscribers. Um, just coming to you very quick. Um, let me see if I can get some better lighting here. Yeah, that's better. Um, just coming to you really quick to say hello to everyone. Okay, is that better? Yeah, I think so. Hello to everyone, and I'm just getting home from convocation. It's about 10.30 p.m. I got off of work early, had to be there by a certain time so I could be there for praise and worship, and um, so we got everything done. Tonight was my first night. It started on Tuesday night, so tonight is Wednesday. It was my first night, so I'll be there I have two more nights to go, and then on Saturday they're having something. I won't be there Saturday because I am going to be selling my jewelry at um, some kind of bazaar or something like that. So I'm going to be selling my jewelry this Saturday somewhere, and um, I am also going – oh, and then Sunday, of course, is the final – like the climax of every, of everything – so, yeah, I wore brown, red and brown tonight. Um, I had on red shoes. Of course, I have on a belt. So, yeah, red and brown. This is what I have on. I don't know if you can really see it, and you're not going to be able to see all of it, but, yeah. Um, this is the first time I wore a red shirt underneath the brown. I normally wear a white shirt with ruffles underneath of the brown and um, accent it with the red belt and the red shoes, gown red jewelry, of course. Um, living my best life bought me these. Uh, I, I will sent me those um, like one year. So th those I still have and are rocking, girl. Oh, and I wore my own earrings from my own earring collection. Sorry, my light is falling. Okay, wore my own earrings from my own earring collection. Um, so they're they're red and black. I didn't have any with brown in it, so now I have to make a pair with red and brown. So that brought me an idea when I was on my way to church. I was like, I need to make a red and brown pair. So these suffice for tonight, though. Um, so, yeah, my hair is in twist, small mini twist. Um, they've been in the mini twist. Tomorrow will make a week, and they're holding up very good better than normal because normally they don't hold up that long for me but they've been holding up pretty good so I'll probably have them all through next week um if I want to wear something different I'll just pop a wig on my head one day one night if I want to do something different and I love this red shirt y'all look at this it's it's like the way it's made let me let you see it um let me let you see see it hold on because you can rock this shirt without um, without a jacket or anything. Of course, it's short sleeve. But I love the way that this blouse is made. I think I only paid like five bucks for this blouse. But I love the way that it's made. Um, it is gorgeous. That's my word, y'all. I just I, I say it all the time on my videos. It's gorgeous. So that's my little word I say. Um, so don't joke me or anything. But it's gorgeous. Um, but, yeah, I love this blouse. I've had it for a while. Um, but, yeah, it's got a little tie right there, and then it loops down. So it's kind of – it's – um, I'm sorry. I'm fixing my lamp. It's it's beautiful. I mean, I love stuff like this. I love stuff with ruffles. I love all of that stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, let me see what else I can talk about. Oh, yeah, and it's – I don't know if you're all going to see it, but it's uh, – it comes down, so it's a beautiful blouse. I like it. Um, I'm about to make two pairs of earrings before I go to bed, and I won't have time to paint tonight because I'm tired, y'all. I painted all last night, like, till about 12 at night, and I'm just, like, exhausted. I really need to paint again tonight to finish up what I was doing because I got to have a whole lot of stuff to present at this thing Saturday. And... um. I'm making smaller pieces um, of jewelry, so let me see if I have a smaller one up here. Um, let me grab a smaller one and let you see. Okay. So this is my smaller pair that I'm making um, for people that don't like them so big. Um, these are purple and black. 
So the, this is a smaller pair that I'm making. Um, I have to finish the other one. The other one is not finished, but I'm I'm going to make ones like this for Saturday for those who don't like them as big as this this is. Um, oops, I don't drop the earring. I want you to see how it looks. How how the size is different. See how big big this. See, I'm sorry, y'all. See how big this one is, and then this one is much smaller. So. Um, there's a big difference there. So it's for my people that really, really don't do the huge big earrings, but you want something small. That's what I'm working on right now is my smaller collection. Um, I'm going to get back to my hair in a second. I want you to see these. Um, these are on sale for $10 on my website too right now. I got a lot of stuff on my website for $10. Um, Yeah, I like these. These, yeah. These I finally finished. I never showed y'all these, but these are finally done. I did these on, um, I finished them on yesterday. So I love these earrings. And I'm mad because I haven't even made me a pair yet. But this is how it would look. Oh, let me see if I can show it to you. This is how it will how it will look on your ear. So it's not in my ear. I'm just holding it to my ear. But that's how it will look. These are beautiful, and they're very lightweight. I have got to make me a pair because I love these. These are some definitely statement earrings right here. These are definitely statement. Um, these are on sale for $10 on my website. Well, I haven't put them on my website yet, but they're going to be $10. Hopefully, I'll get them up there by the weekend. Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to have other colors like this coming soon. I just have not had time to finish them. Then I have this smaller pair for those who don't want the, the zebra print so big. And these are turquoise and white. I love these things. Uh, I was like, man, I got to make me some. But these are very, ooh, these are very light. These are turquoise and pink. Um... So these are these will probably be um, these will not be ten dollars because they're too, they're smaller. So these will probably be either seven or eight dollars when I do put them on the website, but they will not be not be ten dollars. But there you have it. And who knows? Maybe I'll have a sale and they'll be cheaper than that. Hmm. Got to check out the site to see. So hopefully these will be up there by the weekend. But this is how these would look against your ear. Um, if you decide that you like these, they are not as big. Um, and I'm again, I'm gonna have more colors that I'm actually working on. I just haven't had time. Just, <sighs> just haven't had time. Um, and I'm um, back to my hair. Um, I twisted my hair. I didn't put anything on it because my hair was already well moisturized from when I washed it and and put some shea butter on it. So. I, I really, really, my hair, um, I I didn't, you know, they're in the mini twists right now, but and you really can't see my hair on this camera. Yeah. But anyway, um, they're in the mini twist, and, um, sorry, I'm tired now. They're in the mini twist, and it took me less time this time to mini twist my hair than ever. Like normally, I don't know if it's because I haven't done it in so long, because I haven't done it in I know a good over six months to maybe twist my hair. And it took me, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ready to take off jewelry now. It took me only about two and a half hours to twist my entire head of hair. Now, y'all know I have a big head, okay? I ain't even going to try to act like I got a small head. My head is huge, okay? I have a big head, and it normally takes me I usually have to split it. I usually have to do the front one day and the back the next day. That's how big my head is. But this time, I was able to do it all in one night. And, I mean, I don't know if it's because I was flying. And I don't understand because my hair is much longer. Look how long my hair is. My ha hair is way much longer than it used to be. And the back, the back is up right now. Oh, let me let you see it. I have it twisted up right now. But 
if I when I take it down, it's very long. The back of it is very long. So it took me less time this time to twist my hair than it ever have. Normally it takes me four hours to do the front and then it takes me four hours to do the back. This time it took me two and a half hours to do my entire head. So I'm thinking that I was just like excited to get to do them because I hadn't did them in a while. And I was just going. I was looking at a movie and I was just going. I was just going. So you know, I'm just glad they're in, and I don't know, maybe I'll keep them longer in two weeks, because really, I don't feel like doing no hair, especially with everything I've been doing with the jewelry business. I really have not had time to really focus on my hair, but just having it like this has been so convenient. You know, I don't have to always go around looking crazy, you know, because I ain't did my hair and all that good stuff. Um, let me take them down. I think y'all saw them down the other night. Um because these bobby pins are getting on my nerves right now. <laughs> but I think you all saw it down the other night. Um, look, this is that side. And look how long this side is. It's very long. And mind you, I just I just cut a lot of my hair off. Like, I cut my ends because, like, they felt like they were damaged and dry. So I cut a lot of my ends off, like, a month ago. Like, I cut, I know it had to been, like, this much off because it was a lot I cut off. And it's still, it's still long because it, it was, those ends were kind of raggedy and they were, like, they was ratchet. <laughs> the, end, the ends of my hair was ratchet, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it, it. I clipped them, and they started acting a little bit better. I always go through this season when the seasons change, especially from fall to um, – excuse me, from summer to fall. I have the worst hair issues from summer to fall. Like when this – in August is when it normally starts. And I was like, well, now my hair longer. It won't do that. Y'all, my hair was so awful. It behaved badly in August. Like, seriously, my hair behaved badly. It, bad, or however you want to say it. This this channel, you don't have to have proper English. I just want to let you know. So if anybody want to correct me, I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, this, it, my hair was awful. Like, it was not participating. It was not um, – it was not doing anything I wanted it to do. No matter how much I moisturized it, it was dry. It was I, I, I would wet it, and it was still dry, and it was just awful, you know. And it was just starting to make me feel like I want to cut my hair off. And I really was like, maybe I should just big chop again and start all over because it was not participating. But what I did is I thought about something that I normally have to do to get my hair to act right from that from from summer to fall. I had to go back to my, um, what's the spritz that I put on my hair? What's the stuff that everybody uses? Um, I can't even think of the name of it. Mm. Glycerin. I had to go back to my glycerin mix that I had not used all year. Like, I own, the last time I used it, I think, was last August before this year. So I had to go – once I sprayed that on my hair for about two weeks, my hair started behaving right. So that, that's why it's – right now it looks good because it's behaving correct because after I washed it, that's what I did is I was like, you know what, I can't have no hard hair. And my hair is much softer now. My hair is participating. <laughs> I'm getting ready to plait it up before I go to bed in some big plaits. But it is finally participating and now I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I still wet it. I still mo moist, you know, wet my hair, get some moisture in there. I still do all of that. So, um, you know, tonight I did spray my root, my, my scalp. I did spray it with juices and berries. So I did use that tonight. I have had this for a while, and it is still a lot because I don't use a lot of it because sometimes my hair act like you don't like it. But I think tonight it did really good because I can smell it. It smells really good. And it's participating. <laughs> so that's my word. My hair is participating now. Because before, when it was getting ready to turn to fall, it was not participating at all. So um, 
And then I go through a little bit of it during um the the fall to the to the spring. A little bit start it start acting a little funny, but then it doesn't act as bad as that August to September. It's like my hair the whole month of August, my hair just uh it just drives me crazy. And I don't even know if it's because you know my second really my big big chart where I cut the rest of the relaxer off my hair was in August. You know, I was transitioning, but I cut half of it off. But then I cut the rest of the relapse off that August. So I'm thinking that maybe my hair, you know, is like that's the anniversary for it to act crazy. But anyway, it's back on track. Your girl is back into loving her hair. Um, I don't know how I'm going to wear my hair tomorrow. I have no clue how I'm wearing it tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be back right. Um, I've been doing pretty good with the twist, though. They've been, they've been doing pretty good. So I'm about to plot it up and go to bed. Oh, I want to say a shout-out to Leah B. Coates. I think that's how you say it. Leah or Leah B. Coates, B-E-C-O-A-T. Hi, Leah. I hope I'm saying your name right. I don't want to mess up your name. I hate messing up people's names, and I'm bad with names, so I feel really bad. But I want to say, hey, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your beautiful comment that you made on my last video. I received it, you made it today, and I, I just, it, it touched my heart. It touched my heart what you put on that, that video, and I was just like, wow, just being on YouTube running my mouth is making a difference. You know, somebody's listening, you know, I think a I be feeling like, you know, I'm just wasting my time sometimes, but, or I'm just doing it because I, I'm of me doing it. But I really, 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 I want to say thank you, Leah. Um, you did not have to encourage me the way that you did. I, you motivated me. When I read this, I was motivated. Let me read to y'all what she said. Diva Kiki was one of my, one of the very first channels I started viewing years ago. So she's been a long time a subscriber of mine, so I appreciate it. Her meek spirit, raw honesty, and godly grace is inspiring and contagious. Oh, my God. I'm not going to cry. Okay. Um, I wish you much success in your new endeavor. I know that God is, is going to bless the work of your hands. You have and continue to be a faithful servant. And it really, when I read it, it really, really touched me because, Y'all, I'm working so hard trying to get this business set and get it running so that I don't have to work for someone else the rest of my life, that I can be an entrepreneur. And I just want to tell you thank you. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm, when I'm on my channel and I'm talking or speaking that I'm like, well, my channel is boring. I don't have anything else to talk about. I don't have any more hair videos to do. I've done twist video after twist video, and that's all I've done for the last, what, six, seven years. And I'm like, all my twist videos are the same. I don't have no different techniques that I'm using. You know, either I'm going to show you something I purchased shopping, or I'm going to show you my jewelry, or I'm going to spread the word of God. And I want to live so that the that God's light shine through my life and that's my ultimate goal is to live holy is to live so that God can use me to live so that he is pleased with my life so that his light can shine bright in my life and hopefully it'll it'll spill out on my YouTube videos because I love God I love him with all of my heart and I just hope that I'm being a blessing to someone that just at, like you encourage me. I'm hoping that I can encourage you or I can encourage others that are looking at my channel because we all go through things. Y'all, I'm going to have to do another video. I went through this funk the last couple of months, and I had to pray to God so hard. Um, I had to pray to God so hard, and it's like he brought me out of it. I would come home, y'all, and all I want to do when I came home from work, all I wanted to do was lay down and go to sleep. I would come home from work, 
get in the bed, and there for the rest of the night. Don't do anything. I wouldn't make any jewelry. I was not doing anything. I wouldn't. I would do my worship on the night that I have my worship set up for the week. I would do that. I had to make myself do it. Like, I really didn't want to do nothing. And I had to pray myself out of that madness that I was in. And I, I was telling one of my girlfriends about this over the weekend because now she's in that state of mind where she didn't want to do nothing. I didn't want to go nowhere. I didn't want to do nothing. I just wanted to come home and get in the bed. You know, and I, I'm just through. You know, I was just through it took God Almighty to get me back into my mojo, to get me back into my purpose. See, the devil wants to make us sit down. He wants to shut us up. He wants to let us be exhausted so we don't have time to worship God. We don't have time to pray to God. We don't have time to study our word. The enemy wants to destroy us, and that's what he was trying to do to me. I was going to church, and I was praising the Lord at church, but when I got home, he was trying to literally destroy me. But I prayed to God Almighty, and he is the one, God is the one that brought me through it. When I tell you my testimony, y'all God is the one that one that took me out of that state of depression I went through depression from July August at the end of August it's like God broke the chain and set me free and he just and that's why I know y'all tired of hearing me talk about my jewelry. You're tired of hearing me talk about my earrings. You're tired of hearing me talking about my necklaces and all getting all this together. Y'all don't know my story. You don't know my story of where God brought me from because I had stopped doing everything. I ain't made. I had to stop me stop making my music. I stopped uh, focusing on my jewelry. I stopped everything, and for months. All I did, and I ain't been to the gym, and I don't know when, I stopped everything. And all I wanted to do when I got home from work was lay down. I would stay at work till 8 o'clock at night some night, trying to get work done, stressed out about work above and beyond stress could all stress could be. I mean, I was literally stressed. I thought I was going to lose my mind, but the God Almighty kept me together, and he, he kept me, y'all. He, I'm, Oh, my God, I feel the presence of the Lord in this room. He kept me. So I'm that th Leah, you don't know what you did for me today, girl. You were a blessing to me. You were a blessing to my soul, to my spirit on today. Thank you. I love you in Jesus' name. I love you in Jesus' name. I love all of my subscribers in Jesus' name. And like I said, I just want to encourage someone. I I, I, I don't want to just come up here and not let the light that God has inside of me come forth and not let the light of God come in that's inside of living inside of me, the Holy Ghost, that Holy Spirit inside of me not flourish, not come to, come to, to flourish, not come out. And and I kept saying, you know, when I first started my channel and I kept talking about God every video, and I was like, y'all, I'm sorry. I kept apologizing, but I am who God made me. I am who God says that I am. And I know that he is the head of my life and he's, he's in my everything. So I cannot ever do videos and not talk about him. That's just my life, y'all. That's who I am. That's who I am. So, I, girl... Leah, girl, you set me up because, girl, I feel the presence of the Lord in this room right now. I thank you and I worship you. God, I worship you. I worship you. You are awesome. You are amazing. You're everything. And I thank you, Leah, for speaking into to the business that God has given me. I thank you for for speaking it to life, bringing it to life, because the word of God says that you have power in your tongue, and that's why we have to speak positive and not speak negativity. But I am here because of the grace of God on today. Oh my God, this is this is not my ministry channel, Lord. I am here by the grace of God, and those who don't want to hear about God. Keep it moving. But I promise you, if you just take time and let it sink into your heart, you will be a changed person. 
you will be a changed person. When I tell you all, and I'm going to do another video talking about what I went through and how depressed I was and why I was depressed. And how I felt like everybody else was getting blessed but me. But God opened my eyes and showed me, you are blessed. He told me, you are blessed. He told me that I shall live. I shall not die, but I shall live. I shall live. So somebody out there that's about to give up right now, don't do it. I was there. Don't do it. For one thing, it ain't even worth it. It's not even worth it. God have better for you. God have better for me. He have a whole future for us. For In his word, it says, I, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to, plans to prosper. I, I don't have all the words right now, but you know what scripture I'm talking about, Jeremiah. He know the plans he have for us. He know where we're going. He know our future. And the enemy gets mad because he can take a peek at our future to see where God is taking us. And so he try to throw everything against us to destroy us. But the word of God say we have the victory over it all. I'm going to end this right now because I'm going into a praise when I hang up on this. I'm going into a praise, y'all, because we got the victory. That's what the word was on tonight. We have the victory. The word, the man of God preached tonight, and he said that you do not have to settle. And I started feeling like because I'm not settling, that's why I don't have a man. Okay, I'm going to have to make this another video. I kept saying, I don't have a man because I won't settle. Maybe I should give in and start settling like everybody else is. But God said, no. You have to wait for the one that I have for you. You have to wait for the, 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 uh, the Boaz that I have for you. So those who are out there and you're lonely, honey, believe me, if you allow God to keep you, he will keep you. He will keep those that want to be kept. I'm going to leave it with that. I'm going to end the video with that. You all take care. Be a blessing. Know that God loves you. I'm here for you. Email me if you, you, you need prayer. I, I put my email to my business email. I don't care. You can email my business email. You can email my YouTube email. I got to see what's going on with that because somebody couldn't email me or something. But I got to see what's going on with that. Email me. Do a video and respond to me. I will listen and I will pray for you. Because I know who, the, I know the God that I serve. And I know that he's able to do the impossible. God, I got to go. Y'all take care. Uh, God loves you. Diva Kiki loves you. This is the year of favor. We're going to get more out of this year than what has happened before. God Almighty, that's a message on its own. Good night. Take care, take care, you guys. Be blessed.